welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 312. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Father Genesis. G'day. Hello, man. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty, pretty well. A bit tired, but nothing, nothing too bad. So I heard that you had a great night. Tonight so far, not so much has happened. Uh, last night though, I was up until like 3 in the morning, hanging out with friends, but it, w- it wasn't anything special. Hmm. Alright then, alright then. Are you sure it wasn't a lucky night by any chance? <laughs> and also joining us is Lucky Night. Oh my goodness, that was... Oh, uh, you, you're the king of intros, my friend. <laughs> I was like, I thought you were setting that up for me, Norman. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to wait for Twilight to, to give me the punchline, but there you go. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's good to be back on the MBS show. Yeah, it's like what it took you about this is twelve like eleven episodes to come back on. Oh gosh, I know, I know, I know. Shame, shame, shame. Um, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm still here. I'm still le- I'm still a brony. And I'm proud. Nice. <laughs> See what I did there, Norman? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm well also. It's, uh, it's, uh, I guess it's been a fairly busy week at work, I guess. And um, I guess generally just sort of chilling back a bit this weekend, I think. And um, just getting some little odds and ends done, I think, as you do. So, and um, yeah, yeah. You know, keeping healthy, you know, trying to get to the gym and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, yeah. yeah cool. I may have put on some weight this week as well, so my PT may have not been too pleased about that. But anywho, sorry, that's your line. <laughs> yes, indeed. But anywho, uh, let's get into the news. So, who here has watched last week's episode? Clearly the dog has. Yep. Um, And yes, I have, Norman. Well, what about you, Twy? Twy? Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, dark marking, no problem. So, I'm going to ask you, have you watched this um, last week's episode? And you can answer anytime you're ready. Ah, oh, I just told him to shut up. <laughs> it's good! Doggo will be part of the show! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hopefully not all the thunder as well, though. <laughs> I don't know, it could be a professional puppy, but hey, that's another guy. <laughs> Puppy's good. He's a good, good boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, I saw last week's episode, uh, a rare occurrence where I actually saw the episode as it aired. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, the only reason why I ask is because, well, um, there's this one show pony on the stage, and he seems to resemble a certain show pony that we know. It's strange, like, <laughs> he, he's blue, has white and kind of grayish to bluish toned gray, you know, mane, and it's cocky also, and seems to be a showboater. I mean, I mean it's like, who, hmm, I think Sophisto likes this pony. Like, hmm, I don't know. Gee, what? Which other pony could the sound could take after such a such a male stallion? It just I just can't think of the name. I think it's that's a T, Norman. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. be quite sure. Oh, Trixie, that's her name. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it seems that well, the show pony on the episode is quote unquote Trixie's dad. The only reason why it's quote unquote is um, it's not confirmed yet by Hasbro that. This is Trixie's dad or not, but he seems like her. And you can tell that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And this guy's name is Jackpot. And it seems that there's a Ultimate Guidebook released in the UK uh, stating that, Did you know Trixie's father, Jackpot, was a famous stage magician? His most impressive tricks was the splash-tastic escape performed with his friend, Big Buck. It's no surprise that Trixie loves magic shows too. And the thing that they did in the episode was the same trick. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, I know. It's like, but Norman, is the ultimate guidebook canon? Do we regard it as canon? It's canon until Hasbro says otherwise. Praise the senpai. Praise the senpai. (laughs) Yeah. And here's the thing too about uh, this being canon or not. Uh, it's because way back when the comics are tier 2 canon, 
until stated otherwise. And way back when, mm. the way that Star Soldier Bearded vanished the sirens was in the My Little Pony Fiendship is Magic book, uh, book three, starring the Dazzlings versus uh, Star Soldier Bearded. And the way that they got defeated was dumb. And they retconned that in the latest episode or the last season or whatever it is, mm. and including the Legend of Magic comics. So yeah, um, mm. until stated otherwise, then yes, this is canon. But I would like to think that Hasbro <laughs> thinks that this is good too. It was. Oh, it's kind of like Nintendo giving the seal of approval. <laughs> They'll eventually do it. Yeah. <laughs> but why? what do you think, man? Well, it's certainly interesting. When I watched the episode, I didn't think about it. I was just sitting there hoping that the uh, stream that me and my friends were using wouldn't freeze up on us because that's a problem for us. Oh, same here, same here. Uh, but then afterwards, I I saw a flood of the the screen cap or the picture people have taken of the Did You Know bubble. Mm-hmm. And I was like, actually, I think it might be real. I think it's actually true. I, I, I would say that it's definitely canon. Or at the very least, it should be canon. Mm-hmm, true, until stated otherwise. But I, I would like to be canon. Come on. We already seen um, the main six parents, even Applejack's parents. So we've seen them. Uh, we've seen... Um, who else? Um, oh, uh, that episode hasn't come out yet. But we've seen two other ponies as parents. So why not Trixie? Also, um, in a comic, uh, we seen Trixie's mom too. So, yay, we seen the family. Yeah, I didn't know that uh, Trixie's mother had been revealed in the comics until now. Oh, th- th- it was like a splash page. And I think that was in one of the comics where Twilight was taking care of Spike. Or, yeah, something like that. I, I forgot. It's-, it's a while back. But hey, um, at least that's cool. So, anywho, let's head on to the next news. Uh, it's related to last week's episode, um, last two weeks' episode, actually, because um, last week's episode is going to be the new one that hasn't come out for us. You know, really wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. So, uh, Rick and Morty, they're ponies now. What? It was only a matter of time, Norman. Mm, I agree, Twilight. I really do. I mean, they go through portals for crying out loud. Like it's it's only but they're only bound to go through one universe that's actually it's the ponyverse. So yes, it's inevitable. Ponification of Rick and Morty. I mean, gosh. I I hope we get more Rick and Morty episodes. Um and all hell cross promotion at any cost, I'd say. <laughs> so what, rubber dub dub now? <laughs> 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 oh god, I haven't seen the show to know um, any of the memes. So yeah, uh, oh boy. So, yeah. so there is also that, but you probably, but you probably did catch the fan made animation on um a YouTube. I forget the YouTuber, but they um they did the Rick and Morty arriving in the Ponyverse, and um, oh, it's a delight. It's a delight. Okay, but anywho, um, ever since the Pony cameo. Um, a lot of news website or, you know, quote-unquote news websites like um, io9, GameStop, Vice, many more, has stated that, yo, oh, look, it's Rick and Morty in pony form. And it seems like the Rick and Morty fans are hating it. Like, ah, oh, this, this not right, blah, 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 blah. Rage, elemental <laughs> rage. <laughs> oh, fandoms. They will never change. Yeah, true, <laughs> true. But I don't know. I mean, it, it's cute, but... Eh. Twi, what about you, man? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm guessing you've seen Rick and Morty? Yeah, I'm, I've watched all of Rick and Morty that's come out so far. So, and I don't have a problem with a Rick and Morty pony. I mean, the, the, the Rick and Morty show has established that there's a Rick and a Morty in almost every dimension conceivable so ponies is another dimension on that list i guess yeah, true that and i seen one of the interviews that um the one website did with the creators and he stated that it's all true until proven otherwise <laughs> So that's one of the Rick and Morty writers? 
uh, creators, I think, creators and writers. Oh, yeah. creators. Well, perfect. So, I mean, so yeah, um, everyone out in um, online land, um, if the creator has spoken, that's senpai, and you must respect senpai. But at the same time, too, it's <laughs> just a cameo background character thing. They don't do nothing. <laughs> It is reference That's pointing. Right. I know. Oh, oh God. But someone please think of the fan art. Please think of the fan art. Oh. But I, I think someone already did think about the fans. And mm. it's Treehouse Australia sorry, it's Treehouse. Australia? Are they from Australia or is they from the oh, no Canada, yes, yes. Uh Canada's. So I know we're like we're we're so close like, to get in terms of distance, right? Uh, right, why? I remember. Oh seeing, yeah, we're right next door. I remember seeing Treehouse in Australia. In mean, am I, or am I oh. dreaming? No, I no, know, we maybe... we had Boomerang. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but it never came back though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! I didn't throw it right. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I I'll go now. I'll go now. Uh, but no, no, I should stay. We we do have an episode yeah. to finish. It's good. It's good. <laughs> but anywho, um, uh, the Treehouse, the Canadian kids show that airs the show in the Australia, sorry, in the Canada's, <laughs> is you know how to how to put this. In season seven, they leak all of season seven. Like one week ahead, two weeks ahead, three weeks ahead. Like there's no catching up, and. We were, I don't know if we were is the right term, but a lot of fans were worried slash happy about this because, hey, I get more pony, so that's good. But it seems that Treehouse seems to think about it and you know what, now nah, we're not going to do that because that might spoil the programming, so we're not going to do it. And pony episodes are going to come out like normal now, so yay! Good, no? I appreciate that. As someone who has to consider no spoiler rules for an entire uh, sub community within the fandom, I am so happy that they've gone back in that de- in that decision to air early episodes. It almost sounds like Senpai finally put their foot down on the old Can- over the Canadian border. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Um, but I must say that the image coming up on Equestria Daily just uh, yeah, just brings back <laughs> memories of Terence and Philip from, from South Park. And now I'm just thinking how Twilight will sound with a with a Terence and no. Terrence or Philip voice. No. That's going from my head right now. Oh god no. Magic of Friendship, Philip. <laughs> it's like um, it's like what the elements like oh element of farce. I don't know. <laughs> um <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, um, but, anywho. but yeah, I mean, I mean, if I might just have another thought that um, I, I for season eight, I've kept myself relatively spoiler free. Mm-hmm. Um, I, if I would say ninety five percent, so I thought I want to watch it like, like the first time, mm. and and um, and yeah, it's it. I don't know. It's it, because it's kind of funny because. You know, before you know, before streaming, it was like, oh god, we're waiting so for the episode. But now we've got all the streaming services, we can now watch it all in one go. And now we're almost like going back to the thing. Ah, oh, but it's false the magic of you know the 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 build up for the episodes yeah. now. So it's like it's almost like it, it, the you know the trains left the station and it's become <laughs> a steaming locomotive. Yeah, I understand. And now it's slowed back right down again, which is which is an interesting. Um, um, shift in, um, I guess, attitude. So yeah. anyway, back to you, Norman. I understand the mindset you have because way back in the days when we mm-hmm. were kids, when we watch a show, mm-hmm. it's once a week. And then like, yeah. now we're streaming. I'm going to give you a good example and that's Voltron Legendary Defenders. It's on Netflix and that's what, like 12 bunch episodes all like uploaded at once and then like you have um, tw- another 12 and then 6 and then so on. And then like it's all in one go, and like oh yeah, we can watch it whenever I want, anytime I want, kind of attitude. And when it comes to ponies, it's like once a week, once a week, once a week. So you need to wait until it's done and watch it. But with what happened with season seven, where okay, this episode airs today, and then the next episode airs tomorrow, and then it repeats the cycle for the next one. 
uh, until there's no more episodes to air. So it's like, yeah, at least this is back to pony normal. <laughs> pony normal, that's a hashtag for you. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but still, but still, it's one of those things where I appreciate having um, slow down episodes because when we don't have any show to watch, mm. we're going to be in the hiatus. And the hiatus is real. Yep. Oh, yep, this yep. is real. It's but, so very real. Right, why? I don't mind the uh, mid-season hiatus stuff. <laughs> not not so oh. that much. It lets me catch up if I've fallen behind. True, true. And mm. also, we can do other things like play video games. Oh, yeah. That is true. Or look at fan art. And arrange meetups. Yeah, true, true. Arrange meetups. And then also look at bootleg copies of bags in Mexico. What? Oh, may the bootleg market never change, Norman. Never change. Yeah, okay, oh. I, I think I didn't really set up. Uh, I I think I didn't set that one up right. But anyway, anyway. Oh, I, I think I think you set up quite nicely, Norman. <laughs> yeah, but to put things in context, the EQD mascot. Um, I forgot her name. What was her name? Does anybody know? Oh gosh, uh, um, Spotlight I'm... Splash. I think is what it says here in yeah. the article. Spotlight Splash. I, I could be wrong. Let's go for that. I forget that you know, a mascot half the time. <laughs> yeah, but anywho, um, Spotlight Splash, uh, the mascot for EQD, has been spotted on a knockoff My Little Pony bag in Mexico. Um, the thing is, if some of the main six or other background characters were placed on a bag as bootleg um, bag, My Little Pony bags, then it's kind of understandable. But then you have a fan-made character from a whatever it is spotted on a bag. It's like, what? It'll be like the MBS show has a bootleg bag of itself. Like, what? <laughs> Chances are they got the image from just Google searching uh, My Little Pony. And because EQD is that big within the fandom, or at least it's such a known part that they probably just got the uh, mascot shop and they're like, oh, that must be a pony from the show and, and grabbed it from there. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But at the same time too, right? It's, it's, it, it's hard to say whether it's the jokes on them or the jokes on us because what does it mean? It's like, well, that that means that they've, uh, yeah, they've, they've senpai the Crestria Daily and it's like, so, so does me does it mean you know Icky D needs to get a piece of that action? I mean, I presume that's not sixty five actual dollars dollars, uh, but you never know. It, it could be sixty five um, pesos. Ah, nice ba- uh, because don't get me wrong, it, it is a nice bag, and um, yeah, I, I like your attitude. I like your idea. That's why that <laughs> they just a good did a Google search, and I was like, oh yeah, print. print. And and it's and it doesn't look like it's like direct from the EQD website either. It's that that's like that actually looks like Spotlight Splash fan art, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. So okay, okay, um, okay. and and take and it kind of outshines the the, the what Scootaloo and Fluttershy, Fluttershy yeah. that just been slapped on there as well. So I don't know. So are they are they trying to say that uh, EQD <laughs> is uh, <laughs> okay, 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 trumps the show? Yeah, I, anyway, I, I got something for you guys. Um, I got something for you guys. Norman, no, I got something for you guys. Um, <laughs> Let's just say that the guy who created the art for this one is a brony and a huge mark for EQD. He created the design and whatnot, and then like the printing house didn't know whatever it is like. Oh, it's ponies! It's gonna sell, and then he got it out for EQD, and then it's like, <laughs> I got it for EQD. Seth is gonna notice this. <laughs> Yeah, I also wouldn't put it past someone to have just snuck it in there and gone, yeah, no, this is totally from the show, guys. Throw this in the backpack. Yeah, no, nobody's going to know. Oh, I mean, I would do it. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm a, uh, I, I'm, I have made, may, may have completely misread you guys, but you're telling me like that the, that the company doing the bootlegging no. could have actually pranked themselves. No, no, no. no it's, a, it's, a like, guy, no. it's a guy working there. Yep. He's a fan of EQD, yeah. so it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, but it is... oh, that's what I. Oh, yeah. That, oh, that's what I. That's what I did for it. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Yeah. So we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah. But um, but anywho, um, that's the news for this week, and I I got an idea. It's like 
it's fun looking at bootleg bags, but you know what? I I I live in Malaysia, and I'm guessing you guys in Australia also know about the bootleg. The bootleg is strong over there, if I heard right. Oh yeah, plenty of my lovely horse. <laughs> oh yes, my lovely horse. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh how could I forget about that? Oh, oh man, all the bad re all the bad recolors. Oh, oh. think of the recolors. Oh, oh yeah. But anywho, but anywho, oh. let's hit into the next topic. And next topic is what have we been doing with our week? So, why? What have you been doing, man? A little bit of Hearts of Iron still, a little bit of Warframe, and a little bit of Borderlands 1, and a lot of binge-watching the heck out of Young Justice on Netflix. Hmm. All right. How are you enjoying that? Uh, pretty, pretty well. Uh, I mean, I did start watching it at the start of the week, and I'm already about a third of the maybe more like a quarter of the way through season two. Huh. Oh. That that's a lot. These are like twenty four to twenty six episode long seasons. Hmm. That's cool. So this is what, your second time watching? Yeah, my second time I going through it. Enjoying it? Oh yeah, I I, I love the show. I I'm hoping that we get season three sooner rather than later. Yeah, I, I hope so too. Season 3 seems like a fun one. Like I, I do hope that we get Season 3 fast. But talking about Young Justice, did you see the Teen Titans thing? Yeah, the late the pictures of the Teen Titans uh, live action. Mm-hmm. I saw those and I I was not impressed. But I'll reserve full judgment for when like actual trailers come out. <laughs> yep. I did see the Teen Titans go trailer. The, mo- the trailer for that movie. Is it out? It's not. Uh, uh, the trailer's out. So at least it, it's out here because huh. I uh, saw it while I was at the cinema not too long oh, ago. Really? No. Okay, I need to catch that one. Like, I haven't seen it. From what I can tell that um, from all the news source that I've seen, um, Nicolas Cage is going to play Superman. <laughs> Yeah, for Teen Titans Go, yep. as ridiculous that is, uh, as that notion is, I could see them doing that for the Teen Titans Go. <laughs> okay, the only reason why um, I find it funny and uh, I think Lucky is laughing his ass off is um, <laughs> way back in the day when they were doing casting for Superman, Nicolas Cage tried tried it. Like, Nicolas Cage... Um, uh, did a interview, what do they call? Screening of it? Uh, I forgot what they call. Uh, audition. Yes, thank you. Audition. Yeah. They did, he did an audition. He was in the suit and whatnot, but he didn't got it. Like, he didn't get picked, so, well, somebody better got the job. Yeah, whatever. All I could think of is not the bees, not the bees. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe they'll find its way into the movie. Probably. You never know. But here's the thing about Nick Cage. Nick Cage, yeah. now as he is, plays he okay he doesn't act um the phrase is nope. it's nick cage playing superman as nick cage <laughs> so i can't wait like in all honesty if it comes out here in malaysia i'm i want to watch mm. i'm gonna watch uh think like this go just for the heck of it if it's bad, I literally have the trailer. I literally have the trailer queued up to watch as soon as this episode's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me do for thank you, Google. If it's bad, yeah, it, it's I, I'm gonna have ammunition to hate on it. If it's good, then I have ammunition to like it. Yeah, whatever. And at the same time, too, right? Um, if I, I'm not 100 sure if you guys know it or not, uh, the Deadpool movie had a jab at the Green Lantern movie. You guys remember that one, right? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember oh, that. Yeah. And the Teen Titans... Oh, I haven't seen that one. And Teen Titans Go had a jab at Deadpool. <laughs> well, not really. I did not see that jab at Deadpool. I, I don't think so. It's really a jab at Deadpool, but more of a jab at, at itself. And it's a gif of um, John Stewart Green Lantern saying that, hey, um... Green Lantern had a movie once, but we don't talk about it. <laughs> I think for me, I've I've just seen the latest trailer, and um, 
there's a there's a there's a little bit in the uh, in the Deadpool two trailer where it's um oh. it's that like, it's like that's a b and and Deadpool breaks uh, yeah as you know breaks a fourth wall but I think the fourth wall gets doubled because the guy says uh gee that's a bit dark are you sure you're not from the DC universe <laughs> <laughs> my God that's so good <laughs> oh man it's like there's no crossover is sacred. No universe is safe because they quit yeah. with Deadpool around. So, yeah, yeah. oh, bless you, Deadpool. Do not, do not ever change. Yep. Uh, but but uh, we're taking over twice a week. So is that about it, man, or just more? I I think that's about it. I, I don't remember doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of sleeping oh. as usual oh, and, and not doing any anything for my channel again. Oh, it takes time, man. It takes time. So if that's the case... What about you, Lucky? Oh, you know, taking the world, converging on the Ponyverse, hunting for waifus, you know. Oh, sorry, Norman, they're all yours. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I'll never forget that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, oh, I think a, a few weeks ago, I was, I was actually going to cancel my Netflix for all. So I thought, oh, hmm. I wasn't really watching stuff, or I may have got it in case, oh, hey, people, come over to my place. Let's watch hmm. it. Nah, it did not work. Um, <laughs> but I was like, oh, I thought, oh, maybe I'll check out what's what's animated. And then I just got into, I watched the Halo Legends saga um, anime, and then then I watched, um, oh, what's that show? Big Mouth. And now I'm watching BoJack Horseman. Oh. Um, absolutely love it. Um, uh, I I think, yeah, it's all R rated, really. But um, so yeah, kids under eighteen. Mm 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 mm. Um, but the themes, like, and you, uh, it's kind of weird. It's like oh, so many of the episodes I watched so far really speak to me. It's like, oh my gosh, did you just get into my mind? But simply recreate me as some kind of wannabe actor that has literally a horse head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you're over eighteen or eighteen and over, and you want to check it out, um, streaming on Netflix. Hey, Netflix, give me some money. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> and 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 yeah, so and you know, works um being I guess pretty busy and sort of different different directions going there and um I was gonna go gliding today, but I actually ended up making um making a short film actually. So that's I think I must have I think I must have just been make made did filming around um oh yeah, oh the cool part was actually I um I learned how to convert my my DSLR into a webcam oh, cool. finally. Or and oh my gosh! Once I put set up all the lights and everything, oh my gosh, I look tasty. I mean, <laughs> not that I would taste myself, but it like because the, the the webcam I have on my laptop is like six forty by forty or maybe less, and it really shows. And then I saw the difference. It's like wow! It's like gee, it's like the picture's so sharp and it's like, and I think I looked at the um, the update they released for the utilities and I think it was, may have just been released this year. Wow. May have misread that, but I think that's what I saw. So, so yeah, I mean, if you guys uh, d out there in, um, in internet land um, and you've got a Canon DSLR, there is, um, there's a, a, there's a utility that can, that it's, you, and it just, you plug it in by USB as normal and and the software does it does it um does the rest and the um the seam and it works seamlessly with OBS um as well. Oh wow. So yeah. Um not not natively, but you can, you know, do the whole sort of cropping thing. Mm, okay. Um but but as a direct vlogging, oh my gosh, really cool. It's like I actually had the tripod on full extension and I stood up kind of thing and um it was quite liberating actually. So um, yeah, fingers crossed for that goes. So nothing Brony related, but it was good to you know, um, you know, squeeze some digital muscle, so to speak. So, <laughs> all right, all right. so yeah, so yeah, that, that Canon DLR uh, webcam thingy, that's awesome. Like the difference in quality is big. I I can tell. Yeah. So anywho, dude. Uh, on to me, and for me this week, what have I been doing? Let's see. No, um, I'm trying to remember what have I been doing, and in all honesty, I, the only thing I can remember is going to my friend's game shop and playing Cards Against Humanity. And <sighs> oh. Cards Against Humanity is one of those games where it's twisted, it's sick and twisted. Like 
it tells who you are as a person and it's also see how good you are at reading people. And also I bought God of War, the new PS4 game. I haven't cracked it open Ooh. because I have no time to play, but it's just nice to have it there. <laughs> mm. uh. It is so unfortunate that Cards Against Equestria is, is shutting down. What? Why? I don't know. Oh, man. But, um, so, yeah, I... <sighs> Let's bow our heads for a fallen online comrade that brought us so much joy mm-hmm. of the t- most twisted nature mm-hmm. with MLP. True that. True. Dumb, dumb, dumb. No, no, sorry, that's Star Wars. <laughs> I forgot the dead man's music. So, yeah, sorry. Whoa! <laughs> but anywho, uh, but anywho. Uh, what else? Uh, besides that, movies. Uh, what did I watch this week? Oh, yeah, I did watch a new movie Rampage. Oh yeah, how was that, Norman? Uh, that was fun. The Rampage was fun. Like I did not expect to have that much fun. And here's the thing: you Rampage is based on a video game IP of the same name. Uh, in the game, you mm. play as a monster, a gorilla, or a lizard, something like akin to King Kong and Godzilla. And their job is to destroy buildings and wreak havoc. And it's fun, I guess, if you're into kind if you're into those kind of games. So yay. But um the movie is something different. Uh the movie I'm without going into spoilers, um I would say that the movie is a popcorn action flick where something bad happens to a creature, it evolves it or it transforms it into the beast that you see on the trailers. And they wreak havoc. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson is good buddies with the gorilla. And he is trying to save his gorilla friend. And also New York. So, yay. So you're saying with all the destruction, there's a lot of rocks lying around, mm-hmm. eh? Mm-hmm. And, they, and they need the rock to clean it up, eh? <laughs> I'll, I'll go now. <laughs> but, yeah. but anywho, I, I highly recommend it. Like, if you just if you just want to be entertained, um, Rampage is fun. Like, they took the concept of the video game monster thing. Well, they took the name and then they created its own thing. Um, some people might be angry that it's not similar to the um, game. But hey, you want a good movie or you want to be 100% accurate to the game? You have to pick one. You can't have both. Mm, true that. True that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, um, as video game movie goes, this one was fun. This one was entertaining. And I highly recommend go watching it if you have the time. So, yay. Mm. So, other than that, um, that's my week. All fun, um, entertaining and whatnot. Full with big giant monsters. Um, beating up other big giant monsters. So, yay. So, anywho, if you guys at home have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themdshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at themdshow, and my Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And Twy, where can the good people find you? They can find me on Film Fiction and DeviantArt under Twilight Genesis, and they can find me on Twitter and YouTube under The Midnight Pint, and on Twitch uh, as EPS13. Hmm, EPS13. I think I did saw your Twitch thingy on the MBS show, Follow Thingy. I think I did. I was wondering, who's that? Yeah. Most likely it was me. Yeah, EPS13. And it's a picture of Skeletor during his Christmas special. Yes. Yes, I am <laughs> not nice. <laughs> oh, yes. And Lucky, where can the good people find you? Oh my goodness, they can find me everywhere. So, but the best places to find me are on SoundCloud, and I just renewed my subscription. Yay! <laughs> Yay. I actually put money into it for the enjoyment of the world. Yay! And, uh, but uh, probably the stuff that's going to be more popular coming up is the YouTube channel because uh, after the um, Horses at Home con, uh, myself and Midnight Scribe and uh, probably Norman will come back. Is um we're starting. We're going to be taking the Brody House to a regular monthly program. Yeah. And I, 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 
yay i know right like it, it turned out to be such a success um for as a panel so um so yeah it's going to be a regular thing so um and yeah we actually have we'll, we'll be doing a broadcast in a couple of weeks so oh i better actually get to work <laughs> on it i guess um, <laughs> and and also i plan on doing uh hopefully doing a live version at pony um not pony con at you i mean satellite aka um alicon in um in south australia and or are we on someone else's panel there's talk of maybe a, a pony D D one so that i might be on as well so uh-huh. um and um i there's a small chance that i actually may be heading to scotland for brony scott Ooh. um Lucky and maybe doctor. doing the bro and maybe doing the brony house there so we shall see and... so so it, it's a cool project to um it's a cool fresh project i'm seeing that it's um it's growing you know it's um because crystals. I mean, um, uh, but no, I mean, um, because internet. So yeah. So, nice. but um, best places are uh, SoundCloud. But of course, for for the Brony House, uh, the um, I'm Brony and I'm Proud YouTube channel. It's where it's going to be for now. All right, all right. Thank you, no, no problem. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Uh, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch your radio. And also, <laughs> please li- like our Facebook page. Yes, we do have a Facebook. I know nobody really has Facebook now for reasons, but hey, it's still there. You can also catch us on PonyVlive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also, do catch the Ambition Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and probably Guest of the Week talking about the episodes, comics, movies... And having a good old discussion about the ponies. Sometimes we do other things other than ponies. Like Miracle City Box seems to be one of the things that we like to talk about. And also other movies. I remember talking about Kung Pao into the Fist. And Twy knows my weakness. God dang it. Yes, the best weakness. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, At least your name isn't bad. <laughs> oh, yes. And... I presume I'm going to look forward to an MBS um, edition of the um, Avengers Infinity Wars um, mm. coming up. Usually we do that at the year end, but hey, um, if there's a request and if it's big enough to talk about, probably. Uh, we, we'll see, we'll see. Like Everything now has been planned ahead, so there's no, whatchamacallit, this, what, what's I looking for? There's no planning for it, but hey, if... Silver and the rest want to talk about it? Probably, probably. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, I'd like to thank Lurica Cat, Starstream, Master of Like, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you, my friends. You have been really, really kind to me. Lucky Knight? I think I know that yeah, guy. I know. What a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, I'm always horsing around. So, anywho, I have been Orsonzo. I've been Twilight Genesis. And I am possibly a lucky knight. Possibly. Mm. You sure? <laughs> yes, I am lucky knight. <laughs> and may your knights forever be lucky. Awesome. And we'll see you next week. See ya. Cheers. Bye-bye.